of surprises under those footballs today. are now staged around the eighth stadia being used for the tournament. Two musicians leave with the two mascots. This is the bit where the audience get involved. We've got uh, Slavek representing Poland on the right there and Slavko for Ukraine. section a tribute to the 16 nations taking part. As we slowly head towards the crescendo. dance, the piano transforms in the centre. Here's hoping it blossoms into a tournament to remember. <laughs> Poland's big day has arrived, it's here, and the kickoff to Euro 2012 is just a few minutes away. Michel Platini uh, applauding the opening ceremony there. And Alan Hansen, we've got the first game, uh, which will kick off very shortly. Uh, Poland, Greece, how do you see it going? Well, I think there's arguably the, uh, the weakest group of the four. And, um, you know, Poland co-hosts, they'll be looking to do really well. I think that, you know, Lee said the game's going to be tight, and I tend to agree with that. But I think there's an opportunity here for somebody to go and win this game and put them in pole position. It'd be great if the Greeks could do well, because as a nation, they're on their knees. Austerity measures, the elections next week. And we've seen time and time before that if anything, um, if there's one thing that can unify a nation, it's doing well at sport. And if the, the Greeks can replicate what they did in 2004, <laughs> then, or even get close to it, it will be absolutely fantastic. It's hard to imagine lightning striking twice, isn't it?